Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of valuing HiMax so we can determine if it's a buy or a sell. HiMax is a fabless semiconductor company. Fabless means the company outsources manufacturing of its silicon wafers and chips. They are a market leader in display driver internet circuits and timing controllers. Those are used in TVs, laptops, monitors, mobile phones, tablets, digital cameras, car navigation, virtual reality devices, and much more. The company is headquartered in Taiwan and was founded in 2001. Let's get started with the model. This is a small cap company, 1.2 billion market cap. They're trading at $7 a share and they have 171 million shares outstanding. Let's look at their financials. The way you value a company is you estimate the free cash flows into the future and then you discount those numbers back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. They did have negative free cash flow in 2019, 100 million in 2020, then it blew up to 380 million in 2021, but then it came back down to 71 million in 2022. Net income is the profit or loss on the income statement. It's revenue minus expenses. And that has a similar pattern, negative in 2019, a big number in 2021, then a drop in 2022. Revenue is the sales for the company, and that more than doubled from 2019 to 2021, but it did drop a little bit in 2022. Lots of semiconductor companies plateaued in 2022, or fell off like this company did. Let's look at the capital structure. 900 million of equity, 400 million of debt. They're 68% equity, 32% debt. Their net debt is 186 million, and I gave them a whack of 14.5%. Whack is weighted average cost of capital. That's how much it costs this company to obtain capital. And when I say obtain capital, I mean obtain debt or equity. And WAC is a combination of both. And this is the discount rate we're gonna apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated a terminal value, which is all cash flows past year for. That's 1.6 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital, and we get a value of the company of $1.4 billion. We divide that by 171 million shares, and we get a calculated stock price of $840. They're trading at $7, so they're trading at a 17% discount. It's a buy according to the model. The website simply Wall Street values them at $781. They're saying it's 10% undervalued. One analyst priced this stock, and their price target is $10. Another four analysts priced this stock and their price target is $7.91. So the average price target for these four analysts indicate the stock is overvalued. This is where the stock has been trading since 2006, so it's definitely been up and down. It was over $15 at its highest point, and that was back in the beginning of 2022, also in different parts of 2021. Although it did break through $15 at the end of 2013, you could have got this stock real cheap, under 250 at the end of 2019. And they were paying a dividend, and it looks like they cut their dividend at the end of 2019. And they did bring it back in mid-2021. They pay an annual dividend. It was $1.25 in June 2022. I'm not sure what it's going to be in June 2023, but the yield is 18% if they pay that same dividend. But it's unlikely they'll pay that much because they had really strong numbers in 2021. It's come down a lot the past several quarters. I think it's pretty likely they'll bring the dividend back to where it was in 2021. There are 62 companies in the same industry as HiMax, and if HiMax has a number in red, they're worse than the average. If they have a number in blue, they're better than the average. They don't really spend much in CapEx since they're fabulous. A good debt to equity ratio, they pay a really high dividend higher than anyone else. They don't generate much free cash flow. They rank 38th in market cap at only 1.2 billion. The average is 41 billion. They have amazing ratios, which would indicate the stock is undervalued. Although when you invest in companies outside the US, there tends to be more risk. They generate almost exactly the same amount of revenue as their market cap. That's why their price of sales is one. Their five year revenue growth rate is 12%, which is above average, and they have a really good ROA and ROA. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 17% discount, and I rank their free cash flows 5 out of 10, their revenue 6 out of 10, and their ratios 8 out of 10. 
So let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.